Well, the only way they're gonna hear you is if you talk. Alright guys, setting up real quick before I officially do the intro. Such a channel. Here we go. Hello and welcome to more gaming. I'm your host, Admin Joe here, and I am resetting my game real quick. Hold on just a second. But today we are going to be doing some uh we're going to be doing the next gym, of course, but we're also going to be doing some, uh, what do you call it? If y'all want to send in eggs, y'all can do it. Welcome, Jeremy. Thank you for watching. Or joining, I should say, because you're still watching. Um, but yeah, we're going to do our stream here normally, like we always do. Damn it, what the hell is he talking about? Uh, now I forgot what I was saying. <clears throat> okay. So, anyway. Obviously, we're doing our stream as normal. We're going to do the next gym. And then after we finish the gym, uh, y'all can feel free to send in eggs while we're on stream. And we can also do some uh, raids. Because I could use the candy. Ooh, choice scarf. So that could come in handy. Don't interrupt the conversation. Okay, freak. Whatever. I'm out of here. No, oh, excuse me. And then we can get the EV light here for Pioneer because that'll help us out a little bit. TM42 for revenge. And. Let's talk to this lady here. Yeah, let's fight. Alright, so obviously it has the EV light on, but let's see if Lone Wolf can still one hit KO it. We are six levels above. Oh, and still no. Evie Light. Okay, bug, I was worried for a second because I knew we weren't full health. But Accelerator will take out the Dotler here, and now we do officially get our. Um, what do you call it? Evie Light. I didn't expect you to be able to preach toddler solidity. Damn big words for a kid's game. But we get the EV light now and then we can put that on the poniard and move the amulet coin to somebody else. Also guys, as you join in, please leave a like and share if you can. That'd be very useful for our channel. Well, helpful to our channel, I should say. Nope, those are gym badges, so those are not usable Pokemon. What am I doing? 
I'm supposed to go to uh, this over here. Go to our bag of items. Get rid of all that, because I don't like having the notification. Give it to Edward here. And then give this to Balsam, since we have nothing else to give it. And let's go ahead and get towards the gym already. Oh, wait. There's an item over here, right? Or a TM. There we go. TM for rest. So now our Pokemon can rest easy. Oh, no. Item. A bomb root mushroom. Alright, anyway. In case splash. Ching! And let's go ahead and take on the fairy gym leader. And this one's a little bit annoying because it has um What do you call it? Yeah, judging from the vocabulary of some of these people. Looks like Marnie beat us to this gym. But we will definitely challenge her soon. Oh, ball guy. What Pokeball are you going to give us? Ooh, the love ball. I guess pink in the pink gym would make sense, right? But, um, hold on, let's check our bag real quick, because I don't think we have any healing items. And it'd probably be a good idea to have that. My name. So we got the love ball, and we have some super potions, hyper potions. And I think we're going to trade them out for hyper potions. So let me go ahead and sell some stuff here. So we can sell these. We got full heals now. Burn heals. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. You did say you like Marnie. Uh, get rid of super potions. No, we'll keep those just in case we have like minimal heal we need. But we can get rid of the revival stuff because we can't use it anyway. And... That's pretty much it. All those Pokeballs look pretty cool, so. What? They don't sell uh, full heals yet? Oh, I guess I messed up there. I done messed up, A.A. Ron. So let's go ahead and come back here. Officially challenge. And we can get this gym on the way. Thank you. I'm glad my uniform looks good on me. Uh, I've used it every other episode, so I would hope. And I wish they would let us use, like, the other gym's uniforms, not just the challenger uniform. Like, I get it, but, you know, I feel like wearing my fire uniform. Ah, there you are, my dear gym challenger. I thought you really are lacking in color pink. Well, if they would let me wear regular clothing, I might have wore some pink for you. But, that's not the case here. Now, the gym mission begins. Battle with all your skill. Okay, cool, thanks. The hell was that? Alright, okay. It's time to start with your audition to see if you're worthy of becoming the fairy type gym leader. I don't want to be a fairy type gym leader. There's other people there for that. You like the Leon uniform? That one's pretty dope. I personally just like the fire uniform. Looks good on my character. Marcus, welcome to the stream, buddy. Give you a nice wave there. Please leave a like and a share if you can. Alright, so we got a spritzy here, and we're going to go ahead and excel rocket. Alright, so it goes off with the Neko voice, and we resist that, so no mu not much damage there. And, okay, question. Do you know about fairy-type's weaknesses? 
Yeah, either one, really. That's right. One of the fairy types' weakness is poison type. Ooh, so we get an attack boost? That's broken. So we get a choice band on our Excel Rock, basically. And all our Pokemon get a level up. And we're going to stay in because we do have that uh, attack boost. And we go for an Excel Rock here. Hey guys, uh, by the way, how's your day going? My day was pretty chill. Uh oh, energy ball. Okay, we took that pretty well. I'm surprised Excel Rock didn't take out the Slurp Up after the attack boost. But we did it there. And another level up on our Bolsum. If you stay on your ground and everything, blah, blah, blah. Whatever, lady. I'm just here to get a gym badge. I see. I can't say what Miss Opal will think, but you've at least piqued my interest. That's good, Jeremy. I'm the second trainer. Don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. Okay. All right. So we're moving on to Mrs. Teresa here. And she has a Swirlix. And that's the lower form of Slurp Buff, but let's hope this one doesn't have Energy Ball. So we're going to go ahead and go for an Excel Rock here. Pretty good damage. And it's going to go for the Draining Kiss. Let's see how much this does. Because we might have to heal on this one. Oh, we got a crit too. Um, Question. Here we go. What was the previous trainer's name? Aneta. Ah, whatever. I didn't pay attention to that. Okay, so our speed fell, but that's not a problem. We're going to go ahead and heal up here. Let's just go ahead and do a super potion. Hopefully we don't get critted again. Oh, now it's going to boost its... Uh, oh, wait, no. Cotton Spore. Okay, so that's going to lower our speed even more. But we have Excel Rock, so it's automatic first turn. And doesn't quite take it out. So good thing we healed there, just in case it went for another Draining Kiss. Alright, you can lower my speed all you want, lady. It's not going to help you. So that last Excel Rock... Ooh, critical hit. Would have helped on the, next, on the second turn, but whatever. But that one goes down. And then let's see what she sends out now. It's an Aromatease. So I'm going to go out to our Charizard. Our newly evolved Charizard we just got. And let's go ahead and give it a good old debut here in the gym. The good thing about Fire Types is we do resist Fairy Type moves. So it's going to come in handy here. Ooh, and the flinch never hurts anything either. Wow, a double flinch. All right. Air Slash is doing the work here. Aromatease finally goes down. Oh, yeah. That's awesome, man. I like uh, Zelda. The Breath of the Wild game has been really awesome. I just beat it. Well, I beat it a long time ago, but I was thinking about replaying it. It was a really fun game. I'm not used to playing open world maps like that, but that one was really good. It kept my interest in for a while. Alright, so just in case, her name was Teresa. I'm next. I think I might have what it takes to become the fairy gym leader. Theodora. That's interesting. And she sends out a Morgrum, which is fairy and dark, so our fairy type move will do super effective damage against it. Ooh, and it goes for a flatter. So it must be Prankster, because it went first. So flatter on her part was a very good move, because it raises our special attack, which we're not good in. And... 
it confuses us. So it still hits us with our attack stat if we hit ourselves. And Gardevoir's coming in, so we're going to go ahead and go to Edward here. And thankfully we have this EV light, so we can take any hit it decides to go for. Barring a fighting type move, but I'm sure it doesn't have Focus Blast. Question! What do I eat for breakfast every morning? Curry. Ah, oh, what a douche. Like, I'm supposed to know what you like for breakfast. You didn't even say that in your intro. Okay, so it lowered something. Ooh, and that was a bad hit. But Metal Claw, oh, it almost got the one hit. And our attack stat goes up. Let's go ahead and see what it dropped. Oh, that's what it was. It dropped our defenses. So that EV light's not doing exactly what we needed to do now. So we're going to go ahead and go to Champ here. Because I know for sure Champ could take on this thing. No problem. And take a hit pretty well. Okay, so it goes for Reflect. So we could have stayed in there and hit it. But it was not worth uh, losing a Pokemon there. So let's just go ahead and go for Air Slash. Oh, and it avoided the attack. But it goes for Charm and lowers our attack, which we're not using right now. So, stupid move on your part, Gardevoir. And so we don't miss again. We're going to go ahead and go for this flamethrower here and take out the Gardevoir. And end our agony of this omelette-eating douche. Scary face. Nah, we don't need that. Edward grew to level 39. 13 more levels and it will be a Bisharp. Okay, was that the last trainer we had to battle? Uh, yeah, it seems to be so. And Opal's just there sipping her tea and chilling, watching us creepily. Now, I wonder if I met, if you met the standards of the gym leader. Would you like it to admit, well, I can't read, just. Okay, here we go. I need to heal my Pokemon. With the super potion. And I think a super potion should be enough here. Nope. One more. There we go. Don't waste a higher potion on minimal healing. So yeah. I met the standards and I'm ready to fight. Hey look. A Barney chair. It's purple with green dots. Um, We're going to go ahead and lead Edward here. Let's see how this goes. Jeremy, what's your favorite part about the Zelda Breath of the Wild game? I'm thinking about actually doing a live stream of that game too. Like right after this. Play something a little different other than Pokemon. I suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself, but I'm oh, the gym leader. I've gotten a good look at you and how you handle those quizzes. The last part of my mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. Oh, no, I shouldn't try to do accents right now. I can't even read. Now, the battle between Opal and the Gym Challenger will commence. Alrighty. Opal sending out her first Pokemon, and it is a Weezing! A Galarian Weezing, to be exact. Poison Fairy. And on the opposite side, we have a Ponyard from the Challenger, which is resistant to those poison attacks. What will it do here? Alright, so that uh, Galarian Weezing doesn't have Misty Surge, so it must be Levitate. Goes for Fairy Wind, and we take that pretty good. Question! You? Do you know my nickname? Oh, I didn't. I didn't mean to push that. Okay, we're slower, anyways. So let's go ahead and go for the metal claw here again. Fairy wind, of course, is gonna hit us. Ooh, the divine beast. Yeah, those are fun. I don't like fighting the the Ganon's little minion things in there. 
The one that took me the most time was the electric one. All right, and Shelly grew to level 38 as well as Balsam. All right, Mawile's coming out, so I'm going to actually go ahead and switch to... Damn, Shelly still doesn't have a ground-type move. Whatever. We're going to go to Charizard here. Champ the Beast. And honestly, I think my favorite Divine Beast was... <sighs> Which one was it? My favorite one was the bird one. I liked the puzzle that was in there. Alright, now we're going to go for Flamethrower to kill this Mawile with one hit. And it goes down. Mighty Charizard. Nails that Mawile with the Flamethrower. I think um, when I was watching the Game Grumps, they actually took that one on first. So I was like, holy shit. Nah, I would, not me, dog. Alright, so she's going to send it out a Togekiss, so we're going to send out Edward here. And the Gym Leader sends out a Togekiss. And the Gym Challenger went back to Ponyard, who is sitting low on health. Let's see if this was a good decision. Alright, we're going to go for Metal Claw here. Try to get this attack boost. She goes for Draining Kiss. Does a good amount of damage. Not crazy amount. But a good amount. And we do much more. Which is my favorite color. And it is pink. What? Oh, what a douche. So it's purple. I'm going to switch out here. Go back to champ. Yeah, I really like the the bird one. I guess that's its name. I haven't played it in such a long time. And um I I like the skeleton horse, but you can't register it as a horse, so it's kinda lame. You can't register it at the stables. But shit, that's the one I would want. Oh, and it has ancient power. And Champ hangs on. Uh-oh. And the Togekiss has the Omni Boost. We're in trouble now. All right. We're going to go ahead and switch out to Lone Wolf here. Expecting the ancient power again. And it goes, yeah, it goes for ancient power. So that was expected. So let's go ahead and go for Excel Rock and hopefully we take it out here. Because if not, we will be in trouble. Oh, and it hangs on one! Draining Kiss comes out. Hopefully that doesn't knock us out here. Oh, and we live on two and it's a critical hit. Oh, man. Battle is getting fierce. Question. Alrighty then, how old am I? 88 years. Oh, that's a whole move. I got it right. Okay, we're in a predicament here. Jesus Christ. All right, let's go ahead and go to Balsam. Hopefully she can get us out of this jam. She is bulky. Okay, Draining Kiss comes off, and does hardly anything, so we're going to go ahead and take this chance to heal. Hopefully she doesn't go for um, uh, Ancient Power and get another freaking boost, because then we'd be in real trouble. Alright, Air Slash, that's fine. Well, that might flinch us out. Let's hope not. Let's go ahead and go for a Shadow Ball here. So it goes for Air Slash. Don't flinch. Okay, so we get the Shadow Ball off. And doesn't do enough damage. 
Okay, so this is our play. We're going to go to Lone Wolf here. We're going to take this Air Slash. Hopefully that's what he goes for. And then we're going to have the Dynamax here. So, let's hope we have enough turns to take out that uh, Max Grimmsnarl, I believe she has. Okay, now she is going for the boost again. And she doesn't get it. So, beautiful. So, let's go ahead and Dynamax here and Max Rockfall. So, here comes Opal making us get rid of our Dynamax sooner rather than later. And I forgot to Dynamax candy my Pokemon. So, they're not at the highest HP they could be. Okay, so Togekiss gets hopefully demolished here. Okay, it lives in red, but hopefully Sandstorm takes it out. Hmm. Not good for us. Okay, so we actually have to waste two turns. Uh, okay, so it's faster. Yikes. So we do... Oh, and another critical hit. What a bitch. So we do waste two turns of our Dynamax here, which could be problematic. I think we might lose someone here, guys. Alright, so Edward grew to level 40. Just learned Night Slash would be better than Beat Up. Alright, here we go. Alice is level 39. Champ grew to level 40. And, oh, it's actually Al Creamy that's going to be in here. Now, the question is, do we take this thing out with one hit? Because if not, we lose Lycanroc. Oof. Alright, guys. I think I'm going to have to, um... I'm at the sack here. Or should I go for Max Quake and hopefully a special defense boost keeps us alive? Should I risk it for the biscuit? Mm. Wait, our defenses are down, right? Oh, they're not down. It's a risk I'm going to have to be willing to take here. So hopefully our special defense boost comes in handy here. Because we're obviously not going to destroy this thing in one hit. But we could hope. We could definitely hope. So Al Creamy is Gigantamaxed here. And we're looking at a potential death on our part if Max Quake Special Defense Boost is not enough. And it does not even close to damage. Okay, so she's going to go for the Max Star. F oh, Max Final. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we live it. We live it. We live it. We live it. All right. We will not live another one, though. Alright, guys. Here's where boys become men. We gotta pick someone to sack off here. Um. <sighs> we just got fairy type. Edward has a lot of levels to go. You know what? It's fully... It's fully healed with an Eviolite. Let's see if we can live this. This is not a complete sack because there is a chance we could live. As slim as it may be. Man, we're going to need some big time scores at the end of this battle. Alright, so we live it. So I'm going to heal here. 
waste our last turn of Dynamax, heal again, then go for... Oh, you know what? I think the Sandstorm is helping us out because it's boosting our special defense as is. So that might have been a great play on my part. I'm not even thinking about it. All right, she's gonna waste her last Dynamax move trying to knock us out here. Doesn't do enough. So we can heal up here and then go for the Metal Claw and hopefully take out this out creamy. Whoo, for a fairy type gym, it's been a real tough battle. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and heal up Edward one more time. Because we're not trying to lose no Pokemon here. I don't think we've lost a Pokemon yet in the Snuzzlocke. But I could be wrong. Oh, and she gets the confusion. It's all right. Let's go ahead and go for Metal Claw here. Oh, she had Iron Head. And Metal Claw goes through. And it does over half damage. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Here she comes with the Acid Armor. It's defense rose sharply. Hopefully this Metal Claw is still enough. Don't hit yourself, please, please, please. All right, Metal Claw goes through again. Oh, and it lives on one. And it goes through the draining kiss. All right. This next Metal Claw should do enough damage. As long as we don't hit ourselves, we'll be fine. And we snapped out. Edward snapped out of confusion. Goes for the Metal Claw and takes out the El Creamy. All right, guys, we did it. We got the gym. Gym is down. Balsam grows a level, which is great. And we didn't have to sack any Pokemon. Your pink is still lacking, but you're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. Damn right, old lady. We just beat an old lady, guys. Whoo! And that is it for this battle. Opal has been defeated. Joe Zamora is the winner of this battle. Jim Challenger wins and has earned the Fairy Gym Badge. Yeah, baby. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 45. Take this TM to a little bonus from the old lady. Draining Kiss. You can kiss my ass while it drains, you dirty whore. Anyway. Draining Kiss should go to our, uh, what you call it? Our Balsam. Because it'll definitely help her chances of longevity in battle. So let's go ahead and give her that. Should be enough. I mean, no, it's not. Uh, but do we really need Swift? I'm gonna switch out Swift. So just in case we need that little bit of healing and stuff, Draining Kiss got the job done. Whew! Still hyped up from that gym battle. Hold on now. Lady, I don't want to be your gym leader. Oh, she's going to take us all the way back to Hammerlock. Okay, sure. We got to get through all this dialogue. And now is a good time for everyone who's viewing to get their eggs ready if they want to send some in. Hammerlock, always such a dusty town. Hey, Dusty, shout out to you. Though, I suppose some Pokemon prefer it that way. Well, all right, lady. What a dick. Well, let's go ahead and get this dialogue out the way. Then we can hatch some eggs. Because we need to catch some uh, more Pokemon. Oh, it's Bead. Pink lady. Leave me alone. I don't even know what I said yes to. It's just whatever. 
When do we pass Opal? Oh, so it is a boy. Boy confirmed. Beat is a boy. And the old lady attacks the young man. Pink, pink, pink. Yeah, man, it was too close. I was scared for a minute. I was really hoping we didn't have to lose a Pokemon there. Shishister Town. Dang, you saw that sparkle on that watch? Boy, flexing. So I think we got to battle Hop again. But we do... Oh my god, more dialogue. There we go. Lady, I don't give a damn about what you have to say. Oh, kaboom. And boom goes the dynamite. What was that? It was a loud bang, obviously. So anyone viewing have any Pokemon they want to send in? Let me know. And I will get to a spot to trade here in a second. Oh, great. Here we go. This douchebag. <sighs> what are you doing on the train, Hop? Oh, I finally caught up. Come with me to Route 7 for some competition. Okay, dude. You're no competition at all. I mean, you lost a bead. Alright, we need a ground move on Shelly. Honestly. Do we have one? By name. We need a ground move. Bulldoze? Oh, yes. Bulldoze. Fantastic. And we're going to get rid of Ancient Power for now. Alright. Let's see. Don't need dig. Don't need drill run. Nope. 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 Magical Leaf, no. Could come in handy, but no. Let's see. Reversal, no. Ooh, do we have close combat? Yes, we do. And Lone Wolf, you're learning this. So, get rid of Drill Run. And learn close combat. Taunt can still come in handy. And we gotta remember, uh, his Snorlax has hammer arms, so let's not be stupid about that. Like, last of time. Ooh, Edward can learn Stealth Rock? That come in handy. We don't use Leer anyway, so let's go ahead and give it Stealth Rock. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Alex can learn superpower, but we're not doing that. Throw chop. Well, maybe throw chop. That could come in handy. You know what? Bite is less. So let's switch it out for bite. Let's see. What else can we do here? Okay, that's it. So let's go ahead and take on Hop real quick. It doesn't seem anyone wants to send any eggs. So we can just continue on then. Um, let's go ahead and start Lone Wolf here. And let's giggity giggity go. Alright. Let's go ahead and continue on here and fight Hop. Alrighty, Joe, you and I both know I've got to keep on trying different strategies if I'm going to get strong. Enough time, enough to catch up Lee. No, not just catch up. I want to surpass him. Oh, yeah, I have him a, like a British whatever accent. I don't think I'm going to do accents today. I'll, I'll try, but I, I'm not sure. So he sends out a Trevenant first. 
Yeah, not the Pokemon I want to send out against Trevenant. I'm just kidding. But that's a good song. I like the remix. So it goes straight up for a Confuse Ray. Which is a little annoying. But our attack stat is low anyway. So Confusion Hits won't hurt too much. But we're going to go ahead and go for the Flamethrower here. I wish the AIs would switch. Make the game feel more realistic. I mean, what person is just going to let their Trevenant get sweeped up by a flamethrower? Not a damn person. Alright, Edward is at least good. Oh, there we go. Earth Power. Edward is at least a few levels above, so it's going to get to level 51 a lot sooner than everyone else. So, Bolton is coming out, and we're going to show him some ground-type power here. I would like to do Dogo versus Dogo, but I didn't think about it till after I pushed in. So, Shiny Shellos is taking the field. Or, Shelly the Shiny Shellos. That's a tongue twister. And we're going to go ahead and go for the... Earth power, the newly added earth power. Eat my dick. Bye, Bolton. You're dead. Ooh, and we got those fancy leftovers over there. You know, I think today it has leftovers from Olive Garden. Alright, so not too bad. Olive Garden leftovers ain't too bad. And we're going to go ahead and send out Charizard to take on this Rillaboom here. Hopefully it doesn't have a rock move. That'd be really annoying. Hey Holly, welcome to the stream. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and share if you can. Uh, Air Slash comes off here. And if it doesn't do enough, let's hope we get the flinch. Oh, and it doesn't. So it goes to the knockoff and knocks off our charcoal, but we should get it back after the battle. And it goes for a hyper potion, but we're going for a flamethrower. Let's see if we get a burn. Oh, and we smacked that Rillaboom without the charcoal. So we, I guess we should have went for the flamethrower to start with. And I noticed we're getting a little over leveled. So we'll see what we do about that. And there's not really a good answer for this thing. Because all of our Pokemon are special that can resist it. But let's see if Alice has a thing to say about this. Probably should have taught it superpower. <laughs> Now that I think about it, and Intimidate goes off, which is good. And we're going for the Spark here. Ooh, Spark does really good damage, and it gets Paralysis. He goes for the Body Slam, which has a Paralysis chance as well. Doesn't get it, so that's good for us. And now we're going to go for a Play Rough, since it's a little bit stronger. Maybe it'll do enough damage. And no, it does about the same. I guess stab is really what made the difference there. But now let's go for a throat chop just to see all the different animations we have. And Snorlax goes down. And now let's go to level 40. No scary face. Scary faces are scary. Alright, so we have a heat more coming in. So we're going to go ahead and go back out to Shelly and go for another beautiful earth power and it should take out the heat more no problem I'm the kind of guy who gets fired up by these situations all right whatever turns your pickle on I guess whatever tickles your pickle sir take this earth power though All right, Heatmore goes down, and I need to check out the levels for the next few Pokemon 
gyms. I mean, the next gym. Because I think we're a little over leveled here. Pokemon Sword. Oh. Gym levels. Alright, so she was 38, and the next gym is 42. So, what we're gonna do here... Keep old moves, we're not gonna do all that. Uh... I don't want to get too high of level. So, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna keep three Pokemon and bring three bench Pokemon in. Just to get them up levels, I guess, and not to over level ourselves. Or if there's Pokemon high enough level, we can bring them in just as is. Uh, I don't want to be too under leveled either. All right, so our 41, our level 41 Pokemon, we're not gonna use. So let's go ahead and put them in a box. Well, I guess Edward is fine. So let's go ahead and bring in... What Pokemon would be cool to use as a bench Pokemon? You know what? Let's go ahead and use a fire replacement. And let's go over Naldo. Then our water replacement will be Jaden. Our electric replacement will be PU. Our fairy replacement, ugh, there's not really good ones. Um, but Shelly's replacement will be this. Or I guess Lone Wolf's replacement, more or less. And instead of Balsam, we'll have Ivysaur as a replacement. And then... Uh, I think Balsam would be good for the route ahead. So it's going to sit on the bench so it doesn't get too high of level. And I guess... We don't really have a still replacement. So let's go Eddie just for the hell of it. No, you know what? Let's get a Pokemon who can actually hit. Let's go Ghastly. So this is our backup team, technically. Well, aside from Balsam... But we need someone to lead the charge. So let's go ahead. Well, let's put one of those other replacements on the team for now. And I think Jaden. No. Let's go. I can't think. Let's go PU. Let's see if we can give it a bunch of berries to make it max friendship right off the bat. Uh, by type. Okay, friendlier, a lot friendlier, a lot friendlier, come on, as many friendships as we can. And I think that's it. So hopefully that's enough to get this Pokemon evolved, really. And let's go ahead and catch this thing right here. So we can hatch another egg. Alright, so we're level 40. I do not want to risk it. Uh, let's see if the quick ball will still work on the second turn, though. I should have thought about that before I ran into the Pokemon. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, our attack rose. Oh, okay, I see what it did there. Quick ball, do your worst. Or do your best. Yeah, it's not gonna work. He goes for another swagger. Oh, righty then. So, technically, I guess we're plus four. 
It's just going to go for body slam. It's resisted, but it can get the para. Para, 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 para. Okay, so it can't. It didn't get the para there. We're gonna go for it again because it'll obviously live it. Oh, we snapped out of confusion. So no issues there. Let's get the para. Beautiful. Now this berserker should be really easy to catch. Should be. Not saying it's gonna be. Let's go ahead and go for a regular great ball I guess I should have bought ultra balls a one a two a tree not a tree but a tree all right gotcha berserker was caught or berserker my bad and now our other level 40 ones can go in the PC as well because we don't want them getting too high of level again. Ooh, and it was enough to evolve the Pichu. So, PU the Pichu is now going to be PU the Pikachu. And I guess whenever it evolves again, it'll be good enough to be RU. <laughs> no, no one, just me. Okay. I'll shut up now. And I think we have a... Unelectric stone. Maybe we can evolve it right here right now. Give y'all a double feature of evolutions. Uh by no by type should be fine. Okay, so we have a leaf stone for sure. We don't have an electric stone just yet. Gross. Alright, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get our level 41s put aside for now. Edward. Oh, well, I guess not Edward, right? We need that thing to get as many levels as possible. Oh, a model. Interesting. Okay, so Rabambi comes out, and who do we have? Shelly the Shiny Shellos. Shelly the Shiny Shellos got sent into battle. And we're going to go ahead and go for an Earth Power. Most powerful move. And it does not miss. We take that like a boss because our special defense is high. And pretty decent damage there. And we'll take those Olive Garden leftovers. And then we're going to go Muddy Water here just to try to lower its uh, accuracy. Even though it did miss a uh, Stun Spore there. Ooh, and the muddy water was enough to take it out. So beautiful there. All right, PU's growing levels, and it wants to learn moves. I'm not going to cheat to Spark. I'm going to wait till Thunderbolt comes around. And Shelly the Shiny Shellos keeps eating those leftovers to gain health. Vespaquin comes in. And we're going to go Alice here to get a nice Spark off on it. And, of course, Vespa Queen comes in looking like a queen. But the attack fall should help us out. Pressure is going to come off, which isn't going to pressure us too much. Under pressure. Take the spark, you whore. Get off my screen. Hey, look, it's Beyonce. And she has the queen bee. Huh? Huh? No, just me? All right. I'll shut up now. All right, let's go ahead and swap out uh, Alice to the box. And go ahead and let Shelly run the world for now. No, get away from me. We're going to go ahead and try to get an encounter over here. And then we can hatch a few eggs. All right, encounter now. You encountered a glit. Damn right I did. Shelly got that third eye. Oh, 
Okay, let's see here. Quick ball. We got 93 left. One. Oh, no, a two, a tree. Iron defense goes off, but we're special attackers, so we should be fine here. We're not going to go for the muddy water because we'll obviously kill it at that point. So hopefully we can do some decent damage with earth power. And Galette is actually a really high level, so whatever Pokemon we get for this should be really good. Alright, Mega Punch isn't going to do that much. We uh, recover most of it back with the leftovers. You know what? For the hell of it, let's go for the Heavy Ball. Gillette would look nice in this ball, right? Oh, and it doesn't like it. It pops out on three. That... It's not going to do much. We heal that up and hopefully throw another Pokemon catch it this time. Alright, let's just go ahead and throw a Luxury Ball. You want to be our friend? Stay in the fucking ball. We just want to make an egg out of you. Come on. So it's flexing all its moves on us. Run, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm Gullet, man. Oh, wait. Gullet doesn't have a gender. It's okay to be genderless. It's 2020, Gullet. Just stay in the ball. Oh, man. I should have got Ultra Balls. What am I thinking? Ugh, and these animations are taking forever. Stay in the ball. Here we go. Great ball. Go. Oh, oh, it doesn't want to stay in. Well, enjoy the music as I chuck Pokeballs. Because that's where we're at right now. Well, since it doesn't want to stay in the ball and we have a little bit of time, it's time for story time with Joe. Alright, here we go. So, it's taking forever to catch these Pokemon. But there was two instances where I actually caught legendaries with one attempt. Believe it or not. Not even quick ball or nothing no this is way before quick balls were invented I think I don't think there was quick balls uh, gen 4 and below but um the first time I caught a Pokemon with one attempt one ball I was going I was playing fire red I believe and I went into the cave of Mewtwo and I went in there and I was ready to catch it. I was catching everything in sight. And I was like, yes, I need this Pokemon, that Pokemon. I will catch all the Pokemons. And put them in my box. I need to complete the Pokedex. So. Caught all those Pokemon. You know, found an Ultra Ball or two. Used them. And I get to Mewtwo. And I'm there. I didn't save. I was just like, let's go. Let's catch this Mewtwo. I was hyped. Overly hyped, obviously. And I go into the battle. And I was like, wait, do I have Pokeballs? So I look, and of course, I have one Ultra Ball only. Nothing else. Just one Ultra Ball. That's it. So I was like, I'm not going to catch this thing. There's no way I'm going to catch this thing, even if I lower it all the way down and Thunder Wave it and all that. This is not going to happen. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to throw this one Ultra Ball, full heal, before everything. And if I catch it, I mean, it's unbelievable. But if I don't catch it, I'll have to turn off the game. And God knows the last time I saved. So 
I'll have to go through all the, everything I forgot to do again. So I was bummed. I was just like, all right, here we go. Throwing the Ultra Ball with no hopes in my mind. And I just watch it in one shake. I was like, okay. Okay, it didn't bust. Two shake. I was like, it's definitely going to break out. And three shake. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Am I going to do this? And then, capture sound. And I was like, no fucking way. I caught a Mewtwo with one attempt. With an Ultra Ball, no damage at all, no status, no nothing. I was like, this has to be a one in a million chance. Like, there's no fucking way I did this. But um, then a few years later, I was playing uh, Platinum. And I had a similar instance. You know, you do the whole Gyratina thing, and you battle the guy, and you're like, alright, cool. So I'm healing up my team. And I'm just like, all right, everyone's healed. Check my Pokeball bag. Make sure I got balls to catch the legendary. And sure enough, one ball. And it ain't an Ultra Ball this time. It's a Pokeball. So I'm definitely like, yeah, I'm not fucking catching this. There's no way. I'm not going to catch a Pokeball. I was like, I don't want to go through everything again. So I saved before I actually enter the battle this time. So it's like, all right, cool. At least I'm prepared this time. If I don't catch it, I don't waste my encounter. Even though in these games, you can go back and encounter him again. But it's just like, okay, cool. I won't waste my encounter here. So I will go ahead and... Uh, enter the battle. I'm just like, I'm not going to injure it. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm just going to throw the ball. And if I catch it, I catch it. And this one I have a witness on. I throw one regular Pokeball. My brother's watching me. He's like, you're not going to catch it with the Pokeball. I was like, yeah, I don't think so, but we'll see. And sure enough, one shake, two shake, three shake, and then the ball seals. I caught a fucking Giratina one attempt Pokeball from full health, no damage, no nothing. And I can't even catch this fucking Galette in the red. I had enough time to tell you those two whole stories and this thing is still fighting me. What the fuck is your problem, Galette? Oh, boy. Yikes. I'm using all my Pokeballs. I really don't care at this point. Just stay in the ball so I can hatch an egg. Uh, uh, uh. No matter what, I'm buying... I'm using all my money to buy... Uh, buy Ultra Balls. Finally! Jesus Christ! Was that so hard, Galette, to just stay in the goddamn ball? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well, guys. We actually caught it. I'm I'm certainly shocked. Oh, That hurt my soul. That's awesome, Jeremy. A Rayquaza in a Pokeball? I'm certainly going to try to uh, go back and catch everything in a Pokeball. Just for the hell of it. Why not? Just have a billion Pokeballs ready to go. Ooh, technical machines. Don't mind if I do. Um... I'll certainly get Thunderfang. But I don't want to use all my money on that. Well, you know what? Let me just go ahead and buy them. Ten. I have a lot of money, so I should be fine. And then I'll spend the rest of my money on Pokeballs or Ultra Balls. Here 
Give me those terrains, buddy. Well, I'm gonna see if they have full hills, because I do need some of those. Still no full hills? What the fuck? All right, I'm gonna, use, I'm gonna buy six of these. And then 143. Ooh, 43. Coinky ding. And we get 14 Premier Balls, so that's cool too. So now we have plenty of Ultra Balls. We should not. Oh, uh, you give it to your friend? Oh, man, that bites. I didn't know about nature's back then. I just said, give me that fucking thing. I want it. Whew. That was an encounter for sure. So let's go ahead and check out what we have here. All right, so we have Berserker to be a replacement. We have more. We have Impidimp, Berserker, Squirtle, and Galette. Where's the Galette at? Where is the Galette? Oh, it's in our party. Duh. All right, here we go. So Galette is now in our party, and then I'm gonna feel these over here Shelly you can come out and Edward you can come out I don't want you to get too over leveled either then we'll go this and I guess we don't need a ground type at the moment it's mainly for y'all to get leveled up anyway so but yeah so we need to hatch four eggs next time because that that little encounter took a lot out of me and i am not ready to hatch any eggs or anything right now so we will definitely be taking that on that stuff whenever we stream next thank you guys for watching please like share follow we are 30 short of our goal still hopefully we can get 30 soon so we can reach 100 goal uh, our 100 goal and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.